Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain about the ways of creating the point in the Creo parametric. So to activate the point command, first select the point and I'm going to select any reference. Let me select this surface here and in the graphics area, it shows the two drag handles in which I'm going to set this as an offset reference. I'm going to select this top plane here and then let me select this edge here. And you can enter uh, some value here. So let me type some value as 20. And for here, let me type some value as 200. And here I have the surface option. From the drop down list, I'm going to select this and select this as an offset option. Let me enter some distance of 25 and now my point is created at a distance of 25 from the selected surface. And then click on OK. And in this model, I have some circular edges here. So I'm going to create a point at the center of the circular edge. For this, select the point command and here select the circular edge. And in the reference tab, I'm going to select this as a center option and then click on OK. And now you see that my point is created at the center of the circular edge and then click on OK. And you can also create a point on the spline. So here I have drawn a curve using the spline command and let me select this curve and here it has two options ratio and real. If I select the real, it shows the distance of 96 from this endpoint. If I just want to flip the endpoint, select the next end option. And now my point is created at a distance of 646 from the start point. If I select the reference option, so let me select this plane and now my point is created at a distance of 336. You can adjust this value. So let me select this end of the curve option itself. And instead of the real option, if I select the ratio option, for example, if I just want to, if I want my point to create at the midpoint of the spline, then I will enter a value of 0.5. And now my point is created at the mid of the spline curve. And then click on OK. So in the sketching environment, you have two options. That is the 2D sketching point and the 3D sketching point. So the 2D point is only visible in the 2D environment whereas the 3D point is visible in 2D as well as in 3D environment. So with this 3D point you can also create an axis as well. So let me illustrate that. For that let me select the circle command and draw a circle like this. And then I'm going to select the 3D point and create a point at the center of the circle. And then give a check mark to it. And currently there is no axis created. And if I select the extrude command, now my axis is created towards the direction of the extrude. Just give check mark to it. And this is the easiest way of creating the axis using the 3D point. Let me explain the second way of creating the point that is the offset coordinate system. So if I select this, I have to select a coordinate cell system. So let me select this coordinate system and if I select this table, I can enter some point value. Let me enter a value of 25 from the X axis and 25 from the Y axis and a distance of 25 from the Z axis. If I just need additional point, you just select this and by this way, you can continuously create a n number of points. And in the type, I have the various options such as Cartesian coordinate system, cylindrical coordinate system, and the spherical coordinate system. You can also enter the x-axis, y-axis, and the z-axis value by using the Excel sheet by selecting the import command. Or you can save this in the .pts file for the further future reference. And once you complete it, click on OK. Let me explain the final way of creating the point is the field point. The field point is used for performing the user defined analysis. So just select the field point and just select any reference. 
So let me select the nether reference, this bottom circular edge. And now my point is created here. So for more additional videos regarding mechanical engineering design and concept, please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching.